Okay, in today's video, as you can see, we're going to go over some quick, specific uh, heat calculations and calculating change in energy. Okay, and uh, let's just go over through the equation really quick so we know what we're talking about here. We have specific heat. This is the equation we use to calculate the change in energy. This is kind of more about specific heat and change in energy. And so we have delta Q, which is the change in heat, equals mc delta T. Let's just go through all four of those things, delta Q, mc delta T. Delta Q is the change in heat. It's measured in joules, which we abbreviate with a capital J. M is the mass, which is measured in grams. When you're kind of in high school or in school, you're usually measuring grams. You don't have kilograms of stuff, but really it should be kilograms, but we use grams mostly. And then specific heat is joules. C is, this, is a symbol for specific heat which is the joules, the number of joules per gram per degree Celsius. It's kind of definition of specific heat, the number of joules of energy it takes to raise one gram of something one degree Celsius. And you can often see this in kilojoules uh, per kilogram. Once again, in school, we usually use joules per gram degree Celsius. And, of course, delta T is the change in the temperature. Temperature you can measure in Kelvin, but, uh, uh, you know, you have a thermometer. It usually has uh, uh, Celsius on there, so we use Celsius. Okay, so let's go through a few quick calculations uh, how we do this. Okay, we have the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. It should say degree Celsius there, just says Celsius. And how much heat it must be added to 85 grams of water to raise a temperature uh, 22 degrees Celsius. So we know, we want it says here how much heat. This is the change in heat, so we're just going to be solving for the change in heat. We just multiply the mass, 85 times C times the change in temperature. We just do that, and we get that it would take... Uh, just about 7,824 joules of heat to raise 85 grams of water, 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's number one. Okay, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Now we're going to have the specific heat of iron is uh, 0 0.452 joules per gram degrees Celsius, and we're going to add 1,975 joules of heat to a 150-gram piece of iron, and we want to know what will be the change in the temperature of that iron. Iron. Okay, so we're going to take this equation we have right here. We're going to solve for the change in temperature. That means the change in temperature is equal to the change in heat divided by M times C. You got to make sure you kind of do your uh, order of operations and do this first. But if we do that, we take that the heat, which we said is 1975 joules, divide that by 150 times uh, the specific heat, 0 0.452, and we get that that piece of iron with that much heat added to it would have a change in temperature of 19.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's do one more where we calculate the specific heat. Now we have a piece of silver, which has a mass of 250 grams. We're going to add 2,575 joules of heat to that specific heat, to that um, piece of silver, and we're going to change it. That will, that will change its temperature by 43.6 degrees, and we want to know what is the specific heat, therefore, of that piece of silver. So let's just do that. And we have specific heat. C is the symbol for specific heat. And we have the change in the heat divided by M times the change in the temperature. We're just going to move both of these two over the mass and the change in temperature to the other side of the equation by dividing. And we get that the specific heat will therefore be equal to 2575 divided by uh, the 250 times the 43.6. Make sure you do these two first before you multiply into, before you divide into the 2575, and you'll get that the specific heat of silver is 0 0.236. And if you look that up, joules per gram per degree Celsius, that's what it says in the book. All right. So uh, I think that was it. We did three quick equations. That's how you kind of calculate. Uh, you do those calculations using heat and specific heat, and of course, mass and change in temperature. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You could give me a thumbs up for this prob problem, for this video. You could, of course, please leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget that sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. That's right, all of them. And uh, show them how much you care. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.